damage. Alright, indoor arrows. Now, believe it or not, archery is actually a sport that you do shoot indoors. When I first heard about it, I was a bit skeptical about actually how they shoot indoors, because, you know, it seems a bit weird. But anyway, yep, archery is a sport that you do compete indoors, and indoor archery is competed at very close distances for nice small targets. So, to maximise on points, a lot of indoor arrows are made very wide, so that if you do get close to a line, which you often do because the target is so small, you'll be able to cut that line and get the extra points, which is why indoor arrows are often called line cutters, especially the really, really fat ones. So you can get quite a few different types of indoor arrows. This is an aluminium indoor arrow. This is one of Easton's X7s, a very, very, very popular indoor arrow. You can also get what are called carbon line cutters, which are like these larger aluminium arrows, except instead of being made of aluminium, they're made out of carbon. They pretty much do the same thing. One of the key things about an indoor arrow is the point. Um, when you get these indoor arrows, often they'll give you a nib point. You can't get break-off points, or at least it's very difficult to find a break-off point for an indoor arrow. So they'll often supply you with a nib point. And this is a nice light point, so you can get a lot of speed out of these arrows. And that's a key factor for an indoor arrow. You do want an arrow that's very fast, because you want it to be flying nice and flat. If you start getting an arrow that comes into the target on an angle, because you're having to aim up to get it to the distance, because it's too heavy an arrow, you'll start to, if the line's here, you're not cutting the line anymore. And so if it were coming in at a flat angle, you'd be more likely to cut the line and get more points. So you need arrows that are nice and light, so they can come in nice and flat. Then also, the point, another part of the point, beyond the weight of the point, is also how sharp it is. If you've got an arrow that has kind of got a wee bit of a blunt point, it's more likely to get a wee bit distorted on the one end of the target, it's, it can wiggle around a bit more, but if you've got a nice sharp point, it's more likely to come in nice and straight and keep going nice and straight as well. So you're, there is actually a brand, um, Competition Archery Products, they make a very popular point called the Pro Point, and it's a very sharp point, and a lot of archers use those points today to help keep their arrows in the indoor season going nice and straight. At the other end, you've got the veins, and you'll notice on this arrow these veins are huge. The idea is when an arrow comes out of the bow, it's wobbling back and forward, and once again, if it's wobbling, it's wanting to be target and it comes in on a weird angle, you're going to be missing out on points. So they have these very large veins to slow the arrow down and straighten it up nice and quick. You can also get feathers, which are also very popular. I don't have feathers on my arrows because they're quite high maintenance. You've got to be careful with the feather, but they slow them down, down even more than these larger veins. In comparison to a smaller arrow, which a lot of recurve archers still do use for the indoor season, these larger arrows are less forgiving. If you make a small error, you'll generally make a bigger difference down at the target. And if you make a small error with perhaps an X10, which is made to such high tolerance, you may not get so much of a variance. So that's always good. I have a video about the difference um, that outdoor arrows have, so make sure you watch that. At the back of the arrow you generally get knocks, and these knocks for the larger arrows, they start being lower quality on the eastern arrows. The bigger the arrow gets, you start, have to, you start having to put in what are called super knocks, which are even bigger than a G knock, which is your standard insert knock. This is also an insert knock, and because it's so big, it's not that great. These large super knocks aren't very high quality. And Carbon Express make a series of line cutters and they generally have pin knocks in their larger arrows still, which is a bit odd because the pin knocks are very large in their larger arrows. But um, yeah, so if you like a pin knock more than a lower quality super knock, you might want to try the Carbon Express range of arrows. Right, so those are the main points of an indoor arrow, and I hope you enjoyed this video.